The study of weather is called meteorology, but what does that have to do with meteors? The answer is coming up on Weather 101. Hi there, Aaron here, your friendly neighborhood meteorologist, and I'm back today to answer your questions about the weather. This week I thought I'd answer one of the most common questions I'm asked when people find out that I am a meteorologist. Why is it called meteorology? Aren't meteors shooting stars? Why aren't you studying space rocks and stuff like that? Well, first of all, you're right. Meteors are what a lot of people call shooting stars. And these are basically just big chunks of rock floating around in space and the Earth's gravity grabs those rocks and pulls them down into the atmosphere. And there's a lot of friction between that big heavy rock and the atmosphere as the air is steadily thickening as it falls toward the surface of the Earth. And because of that friction, the rock starts to burn up and that's what causes that big streak that you see go across the sky. But I'm not a space expert, so let's go back to weather. In ancient Greece, the word meteor was actually used to refer to anything that was in the sky. So uh, that could be rain, it could be rainbows, it could be clouds, it could be snowflakes, you name it. In fact, a Greek philosopher named Aristotle wrote an essay called Meteorologica. In it, he explained his theories about the earth sciences, including weather phenomena and earthquakes. He also laid out the four bodies, or what some called elements, earth, wind, fire, and water. Eventually, we figured out that meteors are actually caused by something in space, and so we started a whole new field of study called astronomy. And that comes from the Greek word astron, which means star. But us weather geeks kept meteorology for ourselves. Here's a fun fact for you. The technical name for a raindrop is actually hydrometeor. Naturally, we thought of something less menacing to call it. Could you imagine going outside and it's, oh, it's hydrometeor and cats and dogs out today. Well, thanks for watching. Remember, if you have any weather related questions, just drop them in the comment section down below and I'll try to answer them on another edition of Weather 101. Don't forget to like, rate, share, and subscribe here on YouTube. And you can also find me on Facebook and Twitter at Weather101Net. Until next time, see ya.